This program is in support of Kaling Picard Initiatives Nationwide. Tuloy ang ating lakbay. Ngayon, dito naman tayo kung saan matatagpuan ang isa sa talaga namang sikat na sikat na pagkaing paborito ng mga Pinoy. E ano pa nga ba? E di ang lapas ba, Choy? Iloilo, kilala rin sa bansag na City of Love. Hindi lang dinarayo dahil sa masasarap na pagkain, pero pati na rin sa mga nakakabighan yung lugar na maaari niyong puntahan at mayamang kultura na dito'y matatagpuan. Kaya ano pa bang inihintay natin? Samahan niyo na kaming ma-inlove sa City of Love. Iloilo. Gusto mo bang mag-unwind? Tamang-tama! Sasamahan namin kayo sa isang lugar dito sa Iloilo na talaga namang marirelax ka. May sariwang hangin, magandang tanawin, masarap na pagkain, at sariwang tanin? Hi! I'm Engineer Ed Canuto. Welcome to Efrata Farms. Efrata Farms is an agritourism uh, farm here in Iloilo. We farm high-value crops like uh, lettuce, papaya, red lady papaya, dragon fruits. And uh, we opened our farm to the tourists so they can come here and see how we do things here in the farm. This project was realized through the collaboration with the Afrata Farms uh, in uh, Barangay Sariri Badyangan. We're, we're in uh, with the idea from the industry partner that we will be needing the technology. We from the uh, Ilo Ilo Science and Technology University uh, being empowered by the DOST to conduct projects such as this. Now we were able to conceptualize a project to automate the system of the hydrophonics, employing the technology for IoT as well as sensors, we were able to develop a system that could that the farm owner could monitor and control the system even without going to the site. No? They could do it as long as there is an internet connection. Okay, this system works as uh, as a automated system. We're in. Uh, we provided sensors in the greenhouse to monitor the uh, specific parameters such as uh, the water temperature, the EC, the pH, as well as uh, the water flow, which is uh, very essential parameters no, to monitor the normal operation of the uh, hydrophonics no, in a greenhouse. Uh, using the Internet of Things, we're able to develop also an application software uh, which is uh, dedicated to control and monitor the system uh, online. We consider the technology IoT in hydroponics because in terms of monitoring the hydroponics parameters, it's labor intensive. Sometimes you cannot sleep because you, you worry about these parameters that you check like EC, pH, water temperature and everything. It takes a lot of man hours, manual labor to do that and to check those parameters. So I've considered technology, specifically IoT, that can automatically do these things for me. At the same time, it gives me uh, this feeling of na kampante ka because you know things will be okay and wherever I am I can see the status of my greenhouse I don't have to be in my greenhouse to see these parameters even if I'm traveling outside Iloilo or just doing my shopping I can check on my greenhouse and see oh everything is okay and if it if it's uh, not okay something needs to be adjusted 
I can do it while I'm eating at Jollibee. Smart farming. Talaga namang interesting ang klase ng pagtatanim na to. Ngayon, pwedeng-pwede ka nang mag-alaga ng halaman o gulay kahit nasa malayo. Kayang-kaya na rin i-monitor ang mga estado ng tanim kahit nasaan ka pa, basta may internet connection. Um, uh, with this system, with this system actually, no, uh, based on our experiment with Everett Farms, we were able to uh, increase the production no, through proper monitoring of the, these uh, required parameters. No, uh, we were able to increase the production, and uh, maybe, no, uh, if you are a uh, beginner or say you are aiming to do also this uh, hydroponics, no, uh, these systems could help. Maybe you no, know, with with less worry, you no, know, you will be able to check uh, the system anytime, anywhere. Ayon sa project leader ng IoT Smart Hydroponic System for Lettuce Production na si Dr. Ine Mukas, ito ay isa ring paraan para ibalik ang interes ng mga kabataan sa agrikultura at pagtatanim. Uh, actually, our primary purpose is to entice the young generation to join farming because uh, we are now no lacking farmers. No, the farmers are aging. So we developed the system so to encourage the young generations to to engage themselves in farming. No, uh, hopefully, uh, as with this, no, with our experience with Everett Farms, no, we we're able to uh, to increase production, no, uh, make things easy, and uh, uh, avoid no the uh, non idea that uh, farming is uh, hard. No, so with this, no, we make farming more easy, more convenient, and uh, more efficient. We teach other people uh, this technology, uh, like hydroponics technology. We teach students. That's why we have here OJTs, and we teach them. Uh, we teach the young farmers to to encourage them that this is the new thing in farming, not not the the old type na karabaw paginagamit. Now we use internet, we use cell phones, we use uh, computers. We use computers for the improvement of our of our farming. Updating technology in farming is really important. Sabi nga, pag ikaw ay nahuli sa technology, technology will run over you. Uh, we believe that technology is the driving key for us to succeed, to improve our, our farming business, to improve the way we do with our farming operations. Dahil sa proyektong ito, Napatunayan na kaya nating gumawa ng iba pang mga paraan para mas maging mabisa ang pagtatanim hindi lang dito sa Iloilo, kundi sa iba pang parte ng Pilipinas. First of all, I would like to thank the OSTP card for the opportunity that we we can be partners in putting technology in our farm and also with our academe uh, partner, Iloilo Science and Technology University. To those people who would like to, to go into farming, madami tayong bagong technology ngayon sa farming na kakaiba na, maganda, not so labor intensive. Let's stop this technology. It's available. Consider farming as a business. And we can do better in business if we use technology that is available in our reach. Nandiyan lang sa kamay natin, hindi lang natin ginagamit. I especially encourage the young ones. This, our farming today is not the traditional farming na, na ginag, ginag, gumagamit pa ng kalabaw. Our technology in farming ngayon ay high-tech na. High-tech na ang farming ngayon. Gumagamit na tayo ng computers, ng internet, smartphones. Talaga nga namang nakakamangha dito sa Iloilo. Hindi lang mga pagkain at lugar ang iyong babalik-balikan, kundi mga kwentong agham tulad ng episode natin ngayon. Marami pa tayong pupuntahan sa mga susunod pa nating episodes. Kaya tutok lang at samahan niyo pa rin kami sa aming lakbay dito lang sa Lakbay Galing. Lakbay Galing